I'm just shocked at how you just. Uh, we are going to find our. It did not take long. Welcome aboard the taco truck as we embark on yet another tarpon mission in South Florida. All right, it's a little bit windy, so I don't know how good this audio is, but I am out here with Will Phelps and Erica, soon to be Phelps. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he's taking her last name, which will be a little bit strange. No, we're not doing that. We're <laughs> not gonna be a Phelps. That. I'm gonna be the little Phelps on the fly. There you go. <laughs> all these fish are new and exciting and fish we don't get to catch all that often. So Erica and I are super stoked to just be out here with Eric, cruising around in his truck, just exchanging conversations and getting to know each other. It's, it's a great day just to be outside in Florida, away from the bitter cold. Winter is rolling in where we live. So this is awesome. I think I left my flower out at home. <laughs> I really think I left my flower out at home. Dang it. We have enough rods, probably. Unless it's back here somewhere. Yeah, but it's like the one that I just got, though. The Helios I wanted to try for the first time. Uh, and it's... I have a 10 weight Helios. <laughs> no, no, I got, I got a couple other rods, but I just was like looking forward to using yeah. that rod for the first time. I'm fishing a seven weight. I know Eric is into the five weights and the smaller rods, but I can only bring so many rods from Montana. Should work, it'll still catch a fish. I think the seven weight will still get a bend in it, even if we hook a small tarpon. When you're catching a big trout on a five weight, that rod is equal to the fish you're catching. It's the same amount of power against that fish as a 12 weight would be on a 150 pound fish. So if you match your tackle to the species you're after, it doesn't matter how big the actual fish is. It kind of matters how big your rod is. <laughs> Don't take that, don't quote me on that one out of context. <laughs> <laughs> That's Will Phelps, or as you may know him, Phelps on the Fly. You may recognize him from some of your favorite fly fishing films. When he isn't working on his own channel, he's directing and operating camera on some of the largest fly fishing channels on YouTube. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Will is more than a filmmaker, he's a storyteller. I became a fan of his channel a while back when he released the quest for Mondo Gazunga. It was a great blend of fly fishing film and YouTube vlog that showed me I can put the cinema camera down and pick up whatever camera I got. Yes, even a GoPro. We don't have boats. We have our own power. That's just kind of a never ending grind. We were chatting on IG and he mentioned he was going to be in my area for Thanksgiving break, so we made plans to link up. I was excited to show him how similar fishing in my neck of the woods is to trout fishing, except we're dancing with tarpon. But the weather had other plans. A cold front rolled in overnight and just made things weird. You can see the water line. It was about four to five feet higher yesterday than it is today. So it'll be interesting to find them. I'm sure they're just congregated now in whatever deep pockets are around because the water has dropped significantly in a very short time period. So let's go. There you go. That's the money right there. That's going to get it done. See the water's flowing out to the to the intercoastal. This one's much shallower, so you get a little shelf, a little drop off along this edge, and the tarpons stack up pretty much completely across this, this opening here, waiting for bait fish to get pushed into the deeper stuff, and they just ambush it. So they were here. I came I don't know, maybe five days ago, and every cast we had a blow up from like 15, 20 pounders. I came by yesterday just to look. I didn't want to cast because I didn't want to spook any fish. I wanted them to be nice and hungry for today. Thank you. But the water was a lot higher yesterday. So whether or not they're still here or not, I don't know. But I did see a one roll over there a little while ago and I see some bubbles up here, which tarpon, when they come up for air, they breathe air because they have a bladder. And then when they have the air, they start to release it and they leave a little bubble trail that comes up. So it's kind of like you can know where they are from that bubble trail. Uh, sneaky. I'm not gonna say and that. also, the way that I like to fish this fly is I, I cast it, let it sit for a couple seconds, and then I, it's like a snappy strip. You want to like snap, 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 Consistent stop. Or like no, kind of like a snap, snap, stop, snap, 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 snap. You know what I mean? It's just kind of erratic. Like something, like something like kind of skirting its way. Yeah, like it's like, oh crap, there's a tarp in there about to eat me. Let me, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, all right. 
So that's typically the, the play. So I, I normally fish from here, which it is very difficult to get a good hook set from this high. So I get lower than probably. No, I, I do it from up here, but okay. then you could climb down to, to land the fish. So just make sure your strip set's on point. All right, strip Try set. not to trout set it. We practiced yesterday. Sweet. We caught a Palm Beach bonefish. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I, I know they they exist in Stewart. I didn't know they were down in in Palm Beach. Me neither. Okay. I'm gonna get this fly wet. You got a wake or is that the fly? Yeah. Oh, you got tarpon, little guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that did not take long. That's sick, dude. <laughs> no way. That's so cool. Right, we're on the board. We're on the board. Look at this micro coon. This might be the, one of the smallest tarpon I've caught. I've caught some small ones in the Everglades before. Wow. That's so cool, man. That's so sick. Tarpon on the fly. That's sick. I'm stoked. All right, we can go home now. Back to Montana. I'm covered in fire ants. Oh my goodness. Covered in fire ants. This is for real. Oh yeah, look at them. Oh. They're everywhere. Maybe take your shoe off. Holy crap. Make sure you get that on camera. I got it. Oh yeah, go press roll. <laughs> I only got a couple bites. Now I'm glad I'm not wearing my sandals. I saw the heat. That was sick. Is that a bass? It might be. I think it's a large bass. That's like I said there are some so large mouth in here and they're stuck too. Yeah, it's a bass. That's so dope. I saw the flash from up here. That's another thing cool about being up here. Yeah, yeah. you can see. You can see the beat. That's really dope. I haven't caught a large mouth on the fly in quite quite some time. I think last time I did it was in Africa. Africa. Okay. Try not to get into the Yep. And I also just realized I was probably standing in it the whole time I was packing. I'm just shocked at how you just walk down this steep embankment. Montana. I'm in the mountains, man. He's a mountain man. Mountains. Dude, this is a big, large mountain. I don't know about Florida standard, but to me, this is kind of insane. What? Look at this thing. Oh, that is a good one. That might be the biggest one I've seen caught here. Look at that. It's like, we're not only here for tarpon, apparently. Look at this bass. So beautiful. Such a clean looking fish. You know, we're not used to catching these in Montana. So this is a very welcome surprise. I don't know, probably two pounder? Two? Three pound? I don't know, maybe less, but I'm stoked. That's so cool. Oh yeah. That's so sick. Good job. <laughs> That was, that was even cooler just seeing the flash on the fly. You could see it turn, set the hook. It definitely looked a little bit darker in color than tarpon. I'm gonna take a quick moment right now to let you guys know to head on over to shopestrada.com where you can snag up to 40% off apparel and prints while supplies last. Now let's get back to fishing. Right in this pipe. It's gonna be a monster. football bass on right now. He's bleeding quite a bit, so I'm gonna get him back in the water. I'm shocked. Like, I normally don't catch bass out here. Yeah, that's all we've been catching all day. It must be the cold weather. Probably. I know in Miami I used to catch a lot on cold days. Can't do that with a tarpon. Nope. <laughs> He's a little fat chunky one. Alright, so we're making a bass video guys. <laughs> Unintentionally. 
He's not very long, but he's like a little football. He's like a little football. They like this cold weather. And I'm kind of shocked at the amount of largemouth bass we're getting into. It's fun, but I'm sure it has to do with the cold snap that we just had. It was in the 50s this morning. It's a little too fresh out here. We gotta get saltier. Getting too many largemouth bass, so. I promised you tarpon. So we're going to find tarpon, I hope. We are going to find tarpon. We're going to find the poon. But first, we stop for some food. It's way far off from anything we can get in Montana. <laughs> this is so good. Gas station food. What? <laughs> After a great lunch, we bounce around spot to spot. I need to get an ant shot. My turn. We've all gotten got it. But it seemed the main thing biting was the fire ants. I was hoping for the larger tarpon to play, but it seemed the cold weather had them hiding out. <laughs> Tiny little guy. Not a tarpon. A baby little tarpon. <laughs> that is insane looking. Look at this little guy. This is what I get when it's cold and windy like this and cloudy. It's super cool. That's a sick shot. A second wave of the front pushed through and it just shut everything down. Head on over to Will's channel and watch his video from this day and make sure you subscribe. It's cold out. As you can see, I'm wearing a jacket in Florida, which is. A little bit unusual, not Especially what I expected. In to be December, done. it's usually not cold at all. Wait, no, we're not even in December. In November. <laughs> yeah, it's not even December. <laughs> usually February is jacket weather in Florida. It probably our last spot for the day. We're seeing a couple fish roll, and oh, fish just rolled back there. It seems to be looking up. 